Welcome back for some more Hogwarts Legacy. Today we're gonna we're gonna check out the mission here in the Great Hall. We're gonna speak with Sebastian in the Shadow of the Bloodline. No idea what it's about. He's fighting with his boy in here. We're gonna go figure it out. It's nighttime now. Here we go. I don't think I've ever actually been in this part of the castle, which is hilarious. I've been all through here. I've seen these. Well. Oh, gosh. Okay. So what I had to do was <laughs> reload a third time, then do some fast travel, and then I fast traveled right into the Great Hall to kind of get a, it didn't like me trying to go through that door and it would crash every time I did it so yay so now we're in the great hall and I legitimately don't think I've ever been here huh maybe I have once it's certainly not the uh, I don't know I feel like centerpiece or a centerpiece of the game, but it's pretty, pretty exceptional. All right, so we got to go find, excuse me, oh gosh, the pollen, it is spring. We come down here. Anything to do with the dark heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Okay. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree, and I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. Okay. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Ominous is right. Meddling in the Dark Arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this. Better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus curse? Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus curse also known as the torture curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting it on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. It's freaking horrific. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. Absolutely. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Okay. All right, all right. So all that, that's very frustrating. All of that, <laughs> crashing and everything else just to get to that conversation. Oh boy. Okay, well, that's life, I guess. Oh, that was a weird graphical glitch, too. Here's some dudes just like, oop, synchronized drinking. Okay, synchronized rocking. Oh, oh, look, oh, they're spawning in. Crazy. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to kill some people. It's fine. Uh, all right, that's really weird. Yeah, the game, it's, uh, it's struggling, and I got a, a beast machine, so... Okay. Well, now we're now we're there. The Great Hall. I wonder if that's because now it's maybe it's uh 
Nope, there's the sound. <laughs> I wonder if it's because uh, it's it's dinner time, right? Because we do have day-night cycles. So okay, well, let's see if we can walk out this door and if it's gonna crash my mach game. Yay! Hey, amazing. All right, are you guys getting? Yeah, <coughs> these guys too. All right, just just cruel. So it must have been that it was trying to spawn in all of those different things simultaneously. Oh, wow, see the light. The lighting is broken. What is going on here? Ah, look at this. What is going on? All right, well, Lord have mercy. No idea what's going on here. So in our quests, We'll go to astronomy class. Might as well do that. Um, it's one of the required things we have to do. And then, here, let's let's do a quick travel and see if that fixes it. Because I'll tell you what, it's all right. Astronomy wing, astronomy tower. Let's see if let's see if a quick travel brings the lighting under control. Because holy cow. No, not really. Whew. Okay. That is weird. I've never seen it quite like that. All right, all right. Ooh, Adeline Oaks. Hello, Adelaide. How are you and your uncle doing? Very well, thanks to you. The more I learn about Ranrock's foul lot, the more astounded I am that my uncle survived. I looked back over his old owls and noticed that they included pertinent details about his rare metal deposits. I believe that Ranrock's fiends were after those deposits and that they needed my uncle's knowledge. He was willingly going to rot away in that cell to keep me safe. Any other pertinent details about those owls? Plenty. Uncle Roland couldn't be certain, but he thought he overheard goblins talking about infusing something into goblin silver. He wasn't sure what they meant, but something about the way they spoke of it made his skin cruel. Okay. <laughs> it's clear you saved my uncle from a very bad lot. It was nothing at all, Adelaide. I'm just glad your uncle's safe. So am I. Seeing him again was such a relief. I told him that he must remain vigilant from now on. I, for one, can't help but look over my shoulder now whenever I leave the castle grounds. Okay. Well. Alright, where do we... Oh. What? Oh, I see. Begin! <clears throat> and your reading is... The Dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies? Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Interesting. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. 
Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <laughs> Dismissed. <laughs> oh goodness, that's funny. So I guess this opens up a new series Hello. of side quests. I don't believe we've met officially. <clears throat> I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. Oh, thank you. How kind. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I, I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, Reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. All right. Do, 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 do. Let's go find it. Uh. Wait, what? figure out how to get to it. I don't get it. Oh no! Well... <clears throat> was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Okay, there we go. I totally missed it, and off we go. Ah, <sighs> a pristine... Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar, the other is mere lunacy. You mentioned astronomy tables earlier, in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying ah. constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy okay. tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Thank you, Professor. That's what those things I look are. forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's go talk to our boy down here. The perfect... I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. Lunoscope? <laughs> <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. Okay. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? 
No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. All right, let's do it. Uh, yeah, I'm in. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? Oh, load screen. Okay, here we go. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Right. Huh. Keep going there, killer. It's nice. Fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club Cowards. Right. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. If you're sure. All right, here we go. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Ah, oh, let's see. Just not as... Accio! Let's see, I don't have a bunch of weird spells here, don't I? Oh, goodness. There we go. Lumos! Lumos! Cap. Now that's gonna require. Confringo. A little bit of that. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders Lumos. might be lurking about? Possibly. Oh no, not this close to school. I mean, I think you should do the honor. Go on, try it out. Okay. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. Let's see, okay, point telescope. W is zoom. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Okay, all right, all right, all done, all done. Nope, nope. Boom. Lyra. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin-cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Um, anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. <laughs> all right. Quick down to... Point. That'll be the end of this episode. Crash Central today, but that's okay. Yeah. Nope, wrong button. Can do it. Yes, and I will see you in the next one. Later.